Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. It's been many days since I posted a video. I apologize for that. I've been busy working on a couple of design team projects and some Tilda projects and a shabby chic pillow. It's just been a um, crazy couple of days and my son is home on summer break. So for all you moms out there, you know how that goes. Um, we've been having a lot of fun doing stuff. So anyway, um, this video I'm about to present to you my first design team project for Gladys Moreno, drum roll, and her Etsy store is Garden of Eden Life One, and I'll post a link and all the um, contact information for her in the description section of this video. But she asked me to be on her design team. She just started it. This is the first month that both Malika and I are designing for her, and the very first project that um, that I chose to work on is the vintage sewing machine and now she showed this on her well, let me just look something here my background bumpy okay on her um, YouTube channel which I'll also post a link to she showed this album um, but of course every designer does it differently so I want to show you what I did with mine which is which is kind of different so here we go I'll put my channel sign away and here is my vintage sewing machine album. It, it sits like this. And this is the, the charm bracelet I have in front of it. And I'm hoping you can see all this, but I'm going to flip through it. But basically she sells this as a kit. And by this I mean all the chipboard and paper. And everything else that you see extra, like this charm that I made. Um, I made this a while ago and I, I remembered that I had this thimble and I figured it would be perfect to go with with the sewing machine theme. So again everything in here except all the all of this stuff and all the the stuff that you see inside. Basically you get the chipboard and the paper and a binder ring and then you also get these two of these um, eyelets with washers and there's one. Um, I didn't use the one right here because I don't have one that 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 punches through this and I kind of glued this down so uh, but on hers she puts one right here as well but let me go go through this and tell you what I did with it so basically the front of the album you will get um, it's you know like a sewing machine so like in the sewing machine there's a hole right here um, and then you know you put your fabric through and sew and that's the needle right there so I titled mine sew dresses because what I did inside is one of my favorite things that I love to work with are the dress form die cuts now she does send you let me just show you real quick because it's under right here she just she does send you two dress form die cuts and bobbins and some other goodies um, and but these I didn't use in the project because I used my dress forms that I had uh, But I'm sure if you ask her for more of these if you know you want to do something similar She can work something out for you But in the kit that you you can purchase from her you will get two of these And I liked how what she did with them in her book. I just needed more So that's why I didn't use this but I'm definitely going to use this on probably my next design team project for her So those will be definitely used so um, the inside page, you, there's two covers. It's the front cover looks like this. And then let me flip this around. It's very chunky. And then this is the back cover. And you will get all this pink paper and this pink paper. And the wonderful thing is, is if you've worked with chipboard albums, a lot of times you get the chipboard album and the paper is not die cut for you and you have to fiddle around with it and cut it. And oh my gosh, for all these chipboards that you're getting, you get all the paper already cut out for you. All you have to do is glue it down, which is wonderful. So this is my back cover. And for my back cover, I chose to cover that, that hole that was in the front with Believe You Can. Okay, so let me go back to the front. I wanted to show you the front and back cover. So we go back to the beginning. 
Okay, so mine says sew dresses. And the reason for that is because each page is a different decorated dress form. I love dress forms and this die cut from Tim Holtz um, is wonderful because I, I put the paper. Oh, the other thing is, and I, go, I know I'm coming going back and forth because I'm so excited, is she included um, in the kit, and, and I asked her and she said that she's going to include it in, in, in all the kits that, you know, that we buy from her. All the extra paper that's left when she cuts everything out, if she has anything left, she gives it to you. And that was wonderful for me because all I had to do is glue the paper that was left over. And I did a whole bunch of things with it. I used, I made my own bobbins. Uh, the dress forms are all, all the dress forms that are in this book are from all the leftover papers that she sent me. She also sends you these scissors. It's a chipboard scissor. And I just covered mine with modeling cream to make it look gold. Okay, and on these sides I didn't put anything. The dress forms are only on the right side. And of course, you know, this is a mini album so you can use this for pictures. I just chose to use my decorated dress forms. So there's one page. And the other thing I did before gluing down the paper, and I'm sure you could see it on the other pages more than other more than this one is I embossed the paper and that gave it a really beautiful textured look and I know I keep wanting to touch it. So that was the back of that one. That's the second page. This is a doily and again I used the paper that she sent me to make these, these little bobbins. You are my cup of tea. So there's six pages on the inside. That was the second one. This is the third one. And I really like this one. This is a chipboard um, bird cage from Grapevine Designs. And this is like a little um, rub on I put on top of the top of the dress form. This is my pink and chic decorated dress form. Oops, sorry about that. And then we have this, um, this is kind of my funky colored page, which I really like. I really like the, uh, the teal and the pink together. This looks like a cha-cha dress. And then I've got some of the ribbon in that same color. Uh, oh, here on this page, I'll show you how the embossing. I inked it with my Prima Chalk inks. You see how it kind of brings out the embossing? This is like a flower one that I have. I think I think it's a Anna Griffin one. I'm not sure. This one is another kind of cha-cha dress. And I forgot who gave me this this trim. I really like it. It's pretty. So thank you if if you're watching and you gave that to me. I really like it. It's cute. I got a little sewing machine chipboard from my stash. Again, all of these trims are from my stash, but Gladys also sells beautiful trims. And then on the last page I didn't put anything because I wanted to put this beautiful flower for like a note to a friend. And that also covers the back of it. I'm going to take some pictures also so you can get more detailed look of my completed vintage sewing machine mini album. I really hope you like what I made. And um, I kind of have a backstory on this. and. Wanted to share it real quick with you, so I hope you stayed on to listen because it's it's really important for me. I've been volunteering at an organization called Lisa's Care Connection, and this organization is is funded and run by Lisa Gibbons, the one and only. And on Friday, when I went to volunteer for for um, it's basically it's a time between 11 to 1 o'clock every Friday. It's located in Burbank, California. It's about an hour from where I live. And during this time, I help, um, we call them guests, and it's, it's a lot of the folks that are in there are women, and we have a um, couple of gentlemen, and they come there to craft. And the whole craft room is set up um, with, oh my gosh, all these goodies and wonderful things in there, and a a lot of it was donated by Prima, and so basically I go and help them out. And, you know, since I love crafting and paper crafting and scrapbooking and altering and all that stuff, 
it I really really get so much joy from it and this was the second time that I had gone and um, a lot of the I, I forgot to mention this part because I'm so excited about what I'm about to tell you but a lot of the patients in there um, that we call guests have been affected by Alzheimer's so they come there with their care caretakers or their you know children or whoever brings them there and some of them come by themselves and it's just wonderful for them to show to see their pictures um, for them to show me their pictures I can't even speak I'm so sorry so on Friday um, at the end of my volunteer session I got to meet Lisa Gibbons and I sat down and, and spoke to her for almost an hour and it was wonderful because it's she cares so much for her or, her organization and um, so anyway to make a long story short I had taken this album because I wanted to show them um, her and Stephanie over there what I do and I next time I'm gonna take my scrapbook albums with me but this was just something that I had just completed and I was so happy and excited with it and so Lisa Gibbons went through my vintage sewing machine album um, and I was so touched that you know she looked through each page and commented on how I designed it and um, it was just wonderful and there's more announcements and to that end in the future of um, what I'm going to be doing um, with her organization but I just wanted to share that tidbit real quick I don't this design team video because this is really um, a design team video for Gladys but um, she agrees with me that that I wanted to tell everybody that Lisa Gibbons touched this but anyway thank you for watching my video for um, being patient with all the excitement in my, my voice I'm very very happy to be designing for Gladys it is a dream come true and she truly has unique mini mini um, kits and products I mean she's truly known for her kits because for you to buy a kit like this with you know the paper cut out and the chipboard I mean she's using uses good quality chipboard you know it's 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 very rare in our industry so anyway thanks for stopping by I'm sorry this kind of went long have a wonderful day take care bye bye